The Egyptians were building massive pyramids almost 5,000 years ago. We are still not sure how they achieved this without the mechanical lifting and cutting equipment that we have today, but the answer must be that they used huge numbers of slaves to shape and haul the enormous stones with which they built. Recently, scientists have calculated that as many as 10,000 slaves were probably needed to work on these structures. The first, and largest, pyramid at Giza was built by the pharaoh Khufu, reign started around 2551 BC. His pyramid, which today stands 455 feet, 138 meters, tall, is known as the Great Pyramid and was considered to be a wonder of the world by ancient writers. The Pyramid of Khafra, reign started around 2520 BC, was only slightly smaller than Khufu's but stood on higher ground. Many scholars believe that the Sphinx Monument, which lies near Khafra's pyramid, was built by Khafra, and that the face of the Sphinx was modeled after him. The third pharaoh to build a pyramid at Giza was Menkor, reign started around 2490 BC who opted for a smaller pyramid that stood 215 feet, 65 m, high. Over the past two decades, researchers have made a number of discoveries related to the pyramids, including a town built near the Pyramid of Mengor, a study showing how water can make blocks easier to move and a papyrus found by the Red Sea. These have allowed researchers to gain a better understanding of how the Giza pyramids were built. The new finds add to older knowledge gained over the last two centuries. The techniques used to build the Giza pyramids were developed over a period of centuries, with all of the problems and setbacks that any modern-day scientist or engineer would face. Pyramids originated from simple rectangular mastaba tombs that were being constructed in Egypt over 5,000 years ago, according to finds made by archaeologist Sir Flinders Petrie. A major advance occurred during the reign of the pharaoh Djoser, reign started around 2630 BC. His mastaba tomb at Saktera started off as a simple rectangular tomb before being developed into a six-layered atap pyramid with underground tunnels and chambers. Another leap in pyramid building techniques came during the reign of the pharaoh Snefro, reign started around 2575 BC, who built at least three pyramids. Rather than constructing step pyramids, Snefra's architects developed methods to design smooth-faced, true pyramids. It appears that Snefra's architects ran into trouble. One of the pyramids he constructed at the site of Dashur is known today as the Bent Pyramid because the angle of the pyramid changes partway up, giving the structure a bent appearance. Scholars generally regard the bent angle as being the result of a design flaw.